Hey, all you sinners and saints, it's TJ, the Motor Sage. Coming at you here on a uh, wintry uh, morning. You know, it's a Friday morning before the uh, opportunity comes up for me to go back to uh, church again. And uh, I'm back in Pennsylvania and uh, come a long way uh, from my uh, trip out to Enterprise, Oregon. And uh, it was uh, a rewarding trip back, but uh, we came ahead of uh, a snowstorm that eventually caught up with us. And uh, we're glad to be here, but I want to talk to you a bit about uh, coming out of the, the bowels of hell, so to speak. Uh, and Jesus pretty much predicted uh, way back when, uh, some 1980 years ago, uh, that uh, We'd be doing just what we're doing. So uh, listen up and uh, tell you a little bit about it. come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Lord, and I bring you his love. Amen. Well, I find I'm a long way away from where I was in the last video. Uh, I was in Enterprise, 
in Joseph, Oregon. And now I'm uh, back in Northwest Pennsylvania. It took about a week and a half, two weeks to drive from there to here. And uh, some uh, cold white weather, uh, some snow followed me all the way across the country and uh, eventually caught up with me uh, last night here in Pennsylvania. And uh, my wife uh, wanted to go out to the store today. So I thought, well, uh, while I'm sitting here in the truck, I'd talk to you a bit about something. You see, uh, in coming from Oregon, we came out of an area where Barb and I went to, uh, to for a ride to see some of the scenery. We went down to, I guess, what is called Hell's Canyon. It's a place in uh, Northeast Oregon where the Nez Perce Indians went down into that area to uh, cross uh, the uh, Snake River to get away from the U.S. Army way back when in the early parts of the 1800s. And uh, basically the uh, the place was uh, quite impressive uh, because it went from a very high altitude to uh, almost down to sea level in a very short period of time. And we wound our way through a windy road down in that canyon and then uh, turned around and came on back up and uh, came back up into the high mountains where we could see the, the tips of the high points of the Rockies. And I thought about that and about how the church go, seems to go from high to low all the time and from low back to high. It was kind of the uh, the unfolding of history that Jesus predicted. You see, about 1980 some years ago, Jesus stood on the steps of the temple in Jerusalem and he predicted all kinds of maladies, earthquakes, famines, fires, floods, and all kinds of things that the church experienced. And it's recorded in uh, all the gospel of Mark and Luke and elsewhere. Uh, and some people call it the little apocalypse. Uh, he predicted all kinds of turmoil in the world. Well, that turmoil has come to pass. You see, uh, the church has been persecuted for many years, and now as we find, look around the world, we see all kinds of uh, natural occurrences, uh, earthquakes in Haiti and uh, uh, all over uh, Alaska, and uh, we see floods and tsunamis and all kinds of uh, weather-related uh, catastrophes. And we say, oh boy, the world's coming to an end. Well, the world hasn't ended, and uh, I don't know exactly when the good Lord will decide that he's had enough. But uh, Jesus predicted all of these things and told us to be faithful. And he was speaking to the disciples who were the early church back then, and uh, he's speaking to us now. Be faithful. We are saved by grace through faith given to us in Jesus Christ and not by anything that we do, or uh, we're not going to be uh, uh, exterminated by uh, the world around us. Uh, that spirit will prevail. The spirit of God will preserve us and keep us and uh, we'll go forward preaching and proclaiming the good news of God throughout the world. So uh, Christians in the audience of this video, take heart. Another year of ministry together is coming forth. Amen.